Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a new page to your website. So what you're going to do is once you log in, you're going to go under website and you're going to hit on page manager. Now once you're inside the page manager, if you want to see what pages you already have, you can of course use the drop down menu right here. Or you could simply click the manage multiple pages button and that will show you all the pages you have. Now if you're looking to add a new page, simply click the add page button right here on the top right. When you click add page, you're going to be given the creator. So first, you want to uh, determine what page you want to create. Would you like to create a main page, a sub page, or a hidden page? So what is a main page? A main page is very simply put, a page that appears on the top menu right here. So as you can see here, we have home, properties, communities, etc. These are main pages. The other option is a sub page. So a sub page is a page that is nested under a main page. So under properties, you'll see I have three sub pages. Last but not least, we have hidden page. So a hidden page is a page that does not exist anywhere on the menu. It, it, the page does exist on your website, but it cannot be accessed on the menu. It would need to be accessed either through another button or link on a page or you could just share the URL. So in this example, I'm going to create a main page. The second part of creating a page is determining the name of the page. In this example, I'm going to call the page testing. Last but not least, you're going to determine the page type. So nine out of 10 times, you're likely going to be creating a content page. So what is a content page? It is simply a page that's going to have content a page that you're going to add your own, you know, text, images, video, you name it, that is a content page. A URL is if you want to create a page that links somewhere else. So it's not going to actually have its own content, it's just going to forward you somewhere else. So you can make it forward to a page already on your website, so I can make the page go to my contact page, uh, or I can actually make it go to an external URL. I could put a different website here that's completely outside of my website, uh, and it will go there. Last but not least, you could actually duplicate an existing page. So I could create you know, a page called testing, but I can make it duplicate the content of another page. Um, this is explained in more detail in another tutorial video if that is something you're interested in doing. So again, in this example, I'm going to create a content page. I called it testing. And once I'm happy with everything, I'm simply going to click add page. Once the page is added, what we're going to do, let's preview the website by clicking this button. You'll notice now we do have a new main page. It is called testing. It appears right up here. And of course, the page is blank. So if you see in the page manager, it is also blank in here. But as you could see, I could add content in the future. And again, we have a tutorial video on exactly how to add content. It is very easy to do. I hope this was clear for everyone. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team.